Hey there, I'm John. I'm James. I'm Tyrone. And we're Rufus Dussault. And we covered Nirvana's Something in the Way for Lack of Version. In my childhood, this band was everywhere, this record that it's from, Nevermind, was everywhere. And uh, not only that, but I think this song has such a raw emotionality to it. Um, it's very naked and vulnerable, and that felt really interesting for us to rip apart and explore and see how we could put our own sort of electronic spin on it. I mean, I just remember hearing fun facts about uh, this song, about how they recorded it. Like the fact that Kurt picked up like an out of tune acoustic guitar and started uh, just recording it. And it's like, so it's in between two notes and they tuned the rest of the song to that. And that was really cool and interesting. And also just that he recorded it like lying down. He was, I think, pretty out of it on opiates. And I think his performance vocally is just really interesting because it sounds so intimate and naked. I think uh, one thing that we were very much drawn to in the original track was the kind of strings element. And like that uh, string motif that comes throughout is really haunting and simple. And I guess it was from hearing that element that kind of provoked this idea that maybe we should work with a string section. And that's something we haven't done yet. In, you know, even in, in the studio, we've often used like a Mellotron or strings plugins, but we've never worked with an actual quartet. I guess another takeaway from this, uh, we, you know, obviously it was really inspiring to see the, something in the way, you know, pulled apart and uh, turned into this cinematic motif when we saw that latest Batman film, hearing that kind of electronic cinematic iteration and then that definitely got us thinking about like it would be a huge career goal to be able to write you know a score or a song for a film and then we've been discussing to write the song for the next James Bond uh, we want to put that out into the universe because that's that's the next step hearing you know live strings was such a cool experience for us because we're used to working with soft synth um, and trying to make soft synth sound real and you know there's just nothing really compared to uh, having you know a, a live instrument. I love the way the Tyrone's voice sounded um, sort of slurring and being um, getting into that Kurt sort of um, point of view which it really worked I think for Tyrone's voice. I think a few years ago in our live show we were doing a lot more covers um, and we were kind of figuring out what was lacking in the set and, or what kind of shade we wanted to add. So we would kind of then take it almost like we would approach a remix, take the vocal stem and then build like a beat around it, build some electronic elements. Um, but yeah, I guess it's different circumstantially, but we like to find the heart of the song and then build from there, I guess. Our last like a version was eight years ago. We did actually a mashup of a Foles song, Could My Number, with a song by one of our favorite electronic artists, Book of Shade, Could Charlotte. Yeah, I think we became friends with the Book of Shade guys after and because of that fact. So, mm. you know, like a version, bringing, bringing acts together. Mm -hmm. and the Foles guys loved it too, so there you go. <laughs> I was, you know, nervous, excited. It was our first thing that we were doing for a like a version. And it was nice to not have that today. I don't know if it's the room, like the more space, because we were so cramped in that last one. This one had, there was a lot more space and it felt really relaxed. Maybe it was the plants that were next to us. <laughs> and it having been so long since we did our last one, we really wanted to do something new for ourselves. Um, so working with the strings was really exciting and kind of felt like, you know, dipping our toes into something that we'd like to explore properly in the future. We all kind of unanimously thought the, the DMA's uh, cover of Shares Believe was amazing. Just like took the bare bones of the song and then did it so well. And it just, I don't think I, yeah, knew that there was so much heart in that song. I think I just wrote it off as like this pop song, you know? Always means a lot to us to be playing back at home in our home country. Uh, but there is something very unique about the way that um, Triple J adds to the dynamic of uh, Australia and um, the way that people are digesting their music. Uh, we've been looking forward to coming back to Australia for a few years now um, and dreaming about uh, these shows that we're playing at the moment and being a part of um, being back in the Triple J studios. I remember we set the goal of wanting to do a like a version um, almost two years ago now. 
on our return and uh, it's great to, to see that through and um, Australia has played such a big part in our lives even though we've been living abroad for a while now um, and it's good to see that it's in good hands still and uh, we're happy to be back.